Hello there, my name is Ismael. Welcome to another top channel one on one time lapse video. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at how to create, how to model this uh, Ethereum uh, token, a cryptocurrency token. Uh, so, the story behind creating this uh, so, last time I created the, the uh, Bitcoin uh, crypto coin uh, or token, and I put it up on CG Trader, and uh, it has been selling uh, very well for me. So, I thought I could do a follow up video, uh, but uh, create another. So what I did, I first created a Bitcoin uh, token, but uh, it wasn't high detail, uh, so it sold, and and I thought maybe if I created a, a high, a more detailed a coin or token would even sell more, and uh, it did exactly that. So now I'm following that up with a bit with a uh, an eth Ethereum uh, token. Yeah, so this is going to be a time lapse with a commentary. Uh, just so that I can explain what is going on through the video and uh, yes, so let's dive in into the time-lapse Maybe let me show you the render here Yes, so this is the render but uh, if you want to look at uh, the model if you want to get the model You'll find it on my CG trader account and if you want to look at the renders you also find it there I might also upload the model f uh, for my patrons on my patreon account So I'll be leaving a link in the description so let's dive into the time lapse. Okay, so make sure you have some reference images to work with. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is what I did. So to create those rings you see there, I, I created a mesh and then I uh, deleted all the unnecessary uh, vertices I didn't need and then used the spin tool uh, to make those those ring uh, rotate around uh, the radius I wanted. So, you, th you may think our, our curve may work better here, but uh, uh, to make those rings uh, space, be spaced evenly uh, can be really hard if you're trying to move the curves manually. So I, that's why I'm using a mesh, uh, then using the spin tool to do what you saw me uh, do there. And then <coughs> I added a mirror modifier uh, so that uh, I only have to work on one uh, to work on one end and then the mirror modifier models the other end. And uh, yeah, so now I'm creating this uh, section here. And uh, let me just. So, what I'm doing here is really basic, so I won't be commenting there. Uh, but uh, what you're seeing there, so I use uh, to make sure that uh, any extrusion I make follow the radius uh, of each ring. I'm using, uh, I'm setting the 3D cursor as my pivot point, and the 3D cursor is centered at the center of the object. Uh, so, so now that uh, when, I, when I'm rotating any of the edges, or when I'm moving any of the, or when I'm rotating any of the edges, are uh, they following the radius of the rings? Are uh, using the same the 3D cursor as the pivot point? And you can see now, I'm using the spin tool again there, and just to make sure that I, I create uh, that outer loop. And I'm now re removing the unnecessary uh, edge loops or vertices. Always make sure to save your work. Uh, yes, phone that uh, sometimes when power goes off while I uh, Brenda crashes and uh, sometimes I, lo I lose the project, uh, the, the progress I have worked on. So now I'm creating these, I don't know how they're called, but uh, they also, yeah, I, I think it was hard for me to align uh, those, uh, those uh, I don't know how to call them, those lines. So I created a mesh and then aligned them like that. And so I'll be converting this into a curved object and then use a bevel object of, as the profile of my mesh of the curve and uh, yeah so I think I scratched I scrapped uh, the starting with the rings uh, because it was very difficult uh, to align uh, those rings to these uh, end uh, lines so I just extruded the lines and now I'm going to use the spin tool and hopefully they can connect to the back end here so I'm going to be using the spin tool So I'm using that curve as a guideline and uh, to get the center of rotation to set my 3D cursor as and you can see now Yeah, 
to send a nice 3D cursor to the center because the spin, uh, the spin tool uh, uses the 3D cursor as your pivot point of rotation. So uh, that's why I added that curve before I, I use the spin curve. I use the spin tool. Okay, now I just need to connect uh, this. And again, I'm using the 3D cursor as my pivot point and I'm rotating while I extrude I'm rotating these I'm using the 3d cursor as the center point as the pivot point so that I continue with the radius of the curve so if uh, the spin tool is going the wrong direction you can change uh, the value to a negative value uh, the angle to a negative value so uh, to to switch it to the to the other side you want to rotate I think that's the most complicated thing about uh, this coin everything else is self-explanatory uh, so I'll let you watch uh, the time-lapse I can see here I'm just extruding and uh, so what you see there uh, if you hold down ctrl alt shift s are you it's called I think skew uh, you can uh, you can skew uh, the vertices to to rotate at an angle in an in a locked axis uh, so you, you I'm not sure how to explain it but uh, you just you can just do it and use the con the shortcut control shift alt s and uh, see what it does for you and then just select an axis so you do control alt shift s while you select while you select a uh, so here I'm creating the profile. Uh, you see, I'm reducing the resolution of the uh, of the profile so that I don't end up with a lot of in, with a lot of uh, resolution in my mesh. And uh, because you see, there are a lot of rings here. And uh, if you let me first see the resolution, uh, the mesh will end up with a lot of uh, uh, vertices or polygon count. You will end up with a high polygon count that you don't really need. And uh, I forgot even what I was talking about but uh, yeah so so I'm just uh, duplicating and extruding vertices I just isolated some of the mesh. So, so to isolate uh, an object you just hit uh, the forward slash on your numpad uh, to isolate the selected part of the selected object and uh, I added a mirror modifier so that it can help me uh, model the other side while I concentrate on uh, one side. And I also used the insert, I used I to insert uh, a face, uh, just to insert those faces uh, that you saw there. And uh, if you hold on Ctrl R, you can add edge loops. And yeah. So I'm also going to use uh, the spin tool here again. I need to first uh, reset the center so to the 3D cursor and then make the spin uh, there. So if you want to make duplicates, you make sure you have unchecked duplicates when you're using the spin tool so that you have duplicates uh, instead of having a connected mesh. I usually turn on uh, uh, ambient occlusion in the display uh, just so that uh, when I'm working in orthogonal, I think it's called orthogonal or whatever uh, view, I can see uh, the topology more better, much better than uh, if I don't have it on. So here I'm using the bevel tool, uh, which is Ctrl B, uh, to bevel out uh, the edges so that I have those extrusions. Okay, so I'm just aligning uh, the curves uh, to match the 
objects. So from the from here everything else is really basic uh, so I'll just let you continue watching the time lapse and uh, if you found this useful make sure to leave a like subscribe as well to support the channel and uh, if you want to download the model you will find it on my CG Trader account or you can find it on my patreon account I'll be leaving both links in the description I uh, yes so uh, by the way uh, if you I would advise anyone starting who wants to learn blender uh, to do it a while trying to make some kind of income out of it because that's a good motivation uh, for you to keep uh, doing uh, what you're doing and uh, yeah you make such simple models uh, this this one is not that simple but uh, you make uh, models and sell them uh, on uh, online uh, for people who might want to use them and this also gives you uh, the motivation oh it uh, gives you uh, I don't know how to call it how to term it but uh, uh, it tells you whether you are good enough or you if you're getting better uh, because if someone is buying your model uh, it usually indicates that uh, they like uh, your work then oh yeah so you, you can model what you have you can do some basic models and uh, put them on CG Trader or anything and uh, see see if you can make anything there because I, th I found that uh, money is a really good motivation for anyone for most people I meet so maybe it is also a good motivation for you so yeah so let's continue with the time lapse and uh, I'll see you in the next video